So it is officially June, which means Happy Pride Month. But before we do some celebrating, let's do some learning. My name is Destiny Clark. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm so excited to teach you about the Stonewall Inn Uprising and where pride really comes from. So the very first pride is actually a celebration and anniversary of the Stonewall Inn Uprising. This uprising took place on June 28, 1969, in the very early hours of the morning. So eight officers come in and arrest the employees for serving alcohol without a license, which was not uncommon because the New York Liquor Authority wouldn't issue liquor licenses to gay bars. So they come in, they rough up the patrons, they arrest several of the employees, and then they also take several people into custody who aren't wearing at least three pieces of gender-appropriate clothing, whatever that means. So accounts vary greatly on what actually happened that night, but it's rumored that Stormy DeLarvery was actually the first person to throw uh, a brick or something at the police in opposition when their handcuffs were too tight. Many actually credit Marsha P. Johnson for throwing the first brick at the police. But she actually denied this in a 1987 podcast interview with historian Eric Marcus. Sylvia has also been rumored to have thrown the first brick as well. But in a 2001 interview, she says that she threw the second one, not the first one. Despite neither of these women claiming to be the first to throw the bricks at the police, they both were truly irreplaceable and so dedicated to the queer and trans liberation movement. Like, we literally could not have done it without them. Overall, the riots lasted for about six days, and the bar was set on fire. There was tons of damage. And it was at this point that the LGBTQ plus community was showing that they were going to fight back and that they deserved better. A year later, Brenda Howard of the Christopher Street Liberation, her and her organization put together a parade to celebrate the anniversary of the Stonewall Inn Uprising. And now we celebrate every single June is Pride Month. If you're interested in learning more about the Stonewall Inn Uprising or more LGBTQ plus history, then be sure to follow my podcast, Closeted History, LGBTQ plus Stories of the Past. There are new episodes bi-weekly and we dive into the LGBTQ plus history you never knew.